All right. Okay, here is, it's not the finished product, but this is one of my uh, small projects I've just started to assemble. I got this little steel framing made out of one inch angle iron, this stuff here. One inch angle. I believe it's either, eight, I think that's eighth inch. I don't think that's three sixteenths. Um, and I have this, uh, this air cylinder here. I got from Automation Direct. Awesome, awesome air cylinder. And temporarily I got it hooked up to the air compressor with a blow thingy. And two-way valve, 12 volt valve. And this is my small little AGM battery here. Uh, this is just a test of empty can of soda. It's a standard 12 ounce can. Nothing fancy, it's empty. Just gonna do a quick test here. Just to see how well it works before I finalize it, mount the cylinder. The cylinder's not mounted. It's just in there, you can see. I'm gonna mount it with these four holes. Them two there and these two here and there's the push plate. So I just got it sat in there temporarily. And here we go. <laughs> That's neat. Look at that. This is just for fun. Nice and flat. <laughs> yeah, I'm easily amused. So what, you want to find about it? Okay. That's cool. <laughs> okay, in case you're wondering, I'll show you here. This is the cylinder. I actually had this in one of my golf carts that had an air system on it. And this I used to control an air cylinder that was for my, for the diesel, for the fuel shutoff. Fuel shutoff solenoid. Uh, when I got the engine, it didn't have an electronic solenoid, so I figured, well, I'm putting an air system on it. Let me use this. So this is it here. There. Well, that's the crap. Uh, I know there's a. Oh, here it is here. Oop. Come on. There's the diagram. Model number. Oh, shake it. Let me put it on the floor. There's the model number. And I got it running right now. The air compressor's down a little bit. It's down to 100 and... 25 PSI, but that's the, this is just a test setup, and I'm, I'm going to be using that valve, and I'll put a momentary on toggle switch for the crush, and I've seen a lot of videos where people make these things, and they put all kinds of proximity switches in, and sensors, and they make them automated, where they drop the can in, and it crushes, and then when it falls, you know, and they Cylinder hits a certain point, it trips a proximity switch and releases it and pushes it back and gets it ready to crush again or ready to fire, as they say. But what I still have to do to this is here I'm going to cut out the bottom a big enough gap that can accept two of these thick. Two crushed cans would drop through it at the same time. Um, now, the reason why I went with this long cylinder is so that I could put a, a tall can in there, such as like an Arizona iced tea can or anything that's tall like that, you know, even like the the 16 ounce cans or whatever other cans would be that tall. Um, if you go to Automation Direct's website and you plug that model in, I believe it's uh, 1208A, 1208A. Yeah, see me. You can see what the uh, 
working tolerances are of this cylinder. Um, it's a three inch, three inch square cylinder. It's got mounting holes there. They're threaded. They're fine threads, and these are coarse threads. I believe these are five sixteenths by eighteen or fourteen. I don't remember. Um, and then I just have this thing temporarily threaded on here, and I got a jam nut on here too so I can jam it and make small incremental adjustments but you know I didn't get anything cleaned up on it yet this is just test mode and yeah I know my welds aren't that pretty um, but this is a quarter inch plate yeah that's quarter inch plate and these here are seven sixteenths this thread here is 7 16 20. Fine thread standard. I don't know if you can see that thread there. Well, it tries to focus on it, but then it can't. But yeah, five, 7 16 There you go. A little bit of surface rust on there because I've been. I've had this cylinder since Christmas, and this is the first time I've actually had some time to work on this. Um, but, it's just a fun little project. I've made a lot of things from YouTube that I've seen made on YouTube and figured, well, let me see if I could do that. Cause I like to tinker with this kind of stuff. I love working with steel. Now I know a lot of professional welders are going to go, Oh, well that's a crappy weld. Well, I don't care. I do, but I don't, you know, I'm not trying to, uh, whatchamacallit, I'm not building a car. The only one that's really going to be using it is me. And anybody else that comes over and they go, oh, what do you got going on up in here? And I can go, well, it's a can crusher. So all I got to do is mount the cylinder permanently in here. I got a bunch of knocks of bolts for that. And then uh, also what I did was the reason I made the push plate square um, it was just to keep the, the cylinder from rotating all the time. And here's another piece of quarter inch plate. And there's really not enough pressure going to be in this to worry about damaging anything. I mean, I wouldn't want to put my hands in there because I'm sure it would hurt. Um, but if you are somebody that likes to recycle cans, you know, go ahead and make something like this. They're a lot of fun. You know, I mean... I think they're fun, but yeah, that's it. That's the uh, that's the latest project. It works pretty good. I'm really really happy with it. Now, these cans here, these were flattened, not flattened, but they were squashed in the middle, so they didn't they didn't compress as evenly as a non-crushed can would. You know, some people crimp it in the middle and then throw it away, and then that way it makes it easier to step on to flatten, but this is more fun. Um, I also have a groove here, so that way uh, liquid isn't going to be sitting in here. But once I get this all mounted and everything, and I get it where I want it, get all the fine-tuning done, and get all the welds ground down so they're somewhat presentable. I mean, they're not too bad. I mean, I'm not a expert welder, but... You know, I'm only working with flux cord wire here. I don't have gas on my welder. I do have gas on my welder, but it's CO2, and it's not even hooked up hooked up to this. Uh, anyway, but that's my uh, my little homemade can crusher. I'll have another video when I get it painted and everything and permanently mounted to where I'm going to put it over a garbage can. Uh, thanks for checking it out.